the tech in big tech is big. Do you realize even right now we're using software created by big tech? That's right. Yeah, YouTube, it all ties in. It's all one big family. So we're looking at four of these huge companies, specifically Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. Now, these four, let's call them entities, are somehow associated with a large number of devices that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as the software we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll break down each one. And there's also companies that are outside of the U.S. that are nonetheless big. And there's also plenty of other companies within the U.S., that are also big and they might even be involved in tech like Netflix. Um, so this isn't just limited to these four companies, I guess is my point. And Microsoft is a big tech company, but it's commonly left off of these lists. Uh, I think because back in the 90s and early 2000s, they had some lawsuits and addressed a lot of the controversial actions they were taking and they're not as controversial. All right, so where do we begin? We'll go way back to the Gilded Age, which was the late 1800s. And you had these really, really big, powerful monopolies called trusts. And there were railroad trusts, and there was, well, there was an oil trust. You, you might have heard of Standard Oil and John D. Rockefeller. So it's interesting because you look at the big tech companies today, and you realize that, you know, we, we've sort of in a way, at least the, the United States has sort of been here before. And what it comes down to is whether or not a company is allowing for competition. That's one of the big questions. And so with these big tech companies, you know, it's debatable. So we'll, let's go ahead and let's look at each one. So you got Google, which is actually a subsidiary of Alphabet. But for all intents and purposes, it's, it's basically Google with a different name. And they're, you know, they're, they're big, all right? I mean, we're on Google right now using YouTube, which is just one of the many branches of, of the company. So, you know, they, they try a lot of different things. You might remember when they tried making a social network, Google Plus, and, you know, they got the Google Cardboard. So they're, they're really, they're, they're spread out in almost every single different digital technology field that's out there i mean here's an example of something they own and control android all right google is big so moving on we have facebook and it started out as a social media network it's kind of like the social media network uh, but it also you know it's 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 acquired a lot of companies as well it it owns instagram and whatsapp and it's about to launch a a, its own cryptocurrency, which is an interesting thing. They also acquired Oculus, and so they they technically own the Oculus Rift, and they have a new portal device which allows for video communication. And so Facebook is definitely worthy of being on this list. Amazon's another one where they're they're doing a lot in a, in in a lot of different fields. So they have Whole Foods. They have the Alexa home device. They got, of course, the Kindle. And they're also in the streaming market. They own Audible. I mean, they're they're everywhere. So, oh, and also, Amazon Web Services powers something like 60% of the internet. So it's definitely a big company. And finally, we got Apple. So Apple, of course, has acquired many other companies as well. It's got Beats and... Uh, if you've ever used Logic Pro or a GarageBand, that was another company they acquired. And they have tons of hardware. You got the iPad, the iMac, MacBook, iPhone, the Apple Watch, and all their associated apps. They make quality stuff. And really, I could say something good about all of these companies. And that's part of the reason why they're so controversial is because they they really do do awesome work and they're providing things that we've we as humans have never had before and so i i think we're going to we're going to it only time will tell um but it doesn't mean there's not you know 
there, there's there's no negatives there. One of the big things is we don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes at at, at these companies. They're they're very secretive, and um, there's also just massive amounts of data collection happening with all of these companies and beyond. So just think about every time you use Google Maps when you're out driving, like that data is being recorded. But um, there's also the idea of censoring information and then also providing information that you know that is actually misinformation these are controversial issues but you might say hey well you know most of these you know these tech companies offer free services in a lot of ways and free access but one of the big things is you know it's not entirely free even though you don't have to pay for it you're paying for it with your privacy but yeah so that's big tech i i use all four I use products from all four of these big tech companies, so I uh, I can't really complain. But um, let's get off of the big tech, and uh, let's go have an awesome day. So have a good one.